All right, what's up? Today is Friday, week three of the piscine, and I'm here today at 42 to find out how Magda is doing after what seems like weeks of isolation and obviously also learning. <laughs> Let's go inside, find Magda, and then see how she's feeling. She's suffering, she happy, did she make friends? Hey, welcome to week three. I've just finished the second rush yeah, last night. It was ridiculously difficult. I'm so happy that I'm doing this piscine because I found out that I'm horrible at failing. Failing in general is hard. I think we all know that. Hell, I've been communicating this to all of the future pisciners, saying that you need to, you're going to learn how to fail. Failing is great because it's it humbles you, it allows you to know yourself better. I'm used to being a smart cookie in a jar and uh, getting good grades. And I'm super demotivated when something doesn't go well. For the first time ever, I had this moment of just feeling like I want to give up. I cried, I wanted to just go into the forest and scream. It was so hard. I could just get stuck on an exercise. I just had no idea how to how to solve it, even though it seemed quite straightforward. One one of the reasons for which I wanted to to do the piscine is to figure out how much more difficult is it for those who are new to completely new to code. And I had zero background, zero experience before. It is much, much harder to keep up, to understand problems. It's so demotivating if you're ambitious because those problems are so challenging. Most difficult part of being new to code here is that you just fail much, much more than those who have experience. Have I said it? I must have said it already many, many times. I feel humbled. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I can't believe that we decided to do this. I'm a prickle. See ya. Some of the questions for the exam that is going to come up on Friday are going to be way, be way beyond my capabilities. But I found people who are on the same level as me, I'm talking to them makes things easier. I got the idea of the peer-to-peer -peer, and the key to it is find people who are not way better than you and can explain everything to you. Find people who think like you and do things in a similar pace and like things explained in the same way that you like them to be explained. Tomorrow is all going to be about exam preparation. I'm not going to try to push any projects. I'm not going to try to do anything about understanding very complex concepts, but basically go back to the roots and try to figure out very basic, basic shit. My brain is just 00111 and all I need is a beer. So, see ya. Let's see, check in on her and find out. Yep. I'm good, but I'm also completely exhausted. But yesterday I had this moment. I looked at the code and thought, ah, this is beautiful. The code is beautiful. The rushes are intense, <laughs> but also I feel like they, they teach you more of your of soft skills. The challenge of rush uh, zero two, imagine you've just started to cook. You barely know how to chop the onion and you're really proud of yourself because you chop the onion in perfect pieces and you you know exactly how to fry it and, and how to use oil. And all of a sudden someone comes to you and gives you 30 minutes to prepare a perfect filet mignon. This is, this is how it felt. We had to essentially build a program that takes in a lot of parameters from users at a level of a new coder where we had no idea how to even take parameters and then transforms integers into characters. It was very, very intense for someone who's been coding for two weeks. So today is exam day. How do you feel about that? I'm very stressed. Right now, I feel like I don't know Maluk, I don't know Atoy, and I've wasted so much time on trying to push projects rather than preparing for the exam. The exam is in two hours and and um, everybody is slightly freaking out. <laughs> Jesus. I have no words. I lost ability to speak in 001111. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still stressed. And I know it's okay to fail. A lot of our uh, students 
uh, told me that they failed all of the exams or they failed three of them and only passed the last one. I've been listening to those stories for over a year now and it still feels really difficult to accept that I might be failing again. Very happy to be doing this and understanding how difficult it is for all of our PC nurse. My highlight, figuring out recursion. There is this video of a girl with a broccoli and she explains recursion with a broccoli. The video is pretty cool and the broccoli is there. So whenever I think of broccoli, I think of recursion now. That was my highlight. It was really cool last weekend when I realized that I can be vulnerable and stressed in front of all of those magnificent people and, and they helped me out of my tiny panic moments. Low light. Sitting in a room with a bunch of people who are way further than me and understand much more than me and looking at what they're doing and just feeling very, very far behind. You know this feeling in your throat, you're stressed and you feel like you're about to explode in panic. That was my low life. The best yeah. attributes about Magda about Amongst many is her uh, commitment. And I guess if you have commitment during the piscine, you have the best chances to succeed. How much time do you spend at 42 on average? I come in every day, mm, also during the weekends. So far, I think I missed one day. This is week three. And I spend between eight to 10 hours a day here. The community vibe is a uh, good, Although it's quite hard to tell, I've been trying to hang out with different people. It's very easy to just fall into a bubble and hang out with the same group. So then I met a new people who are at a similar level as me and, um, and we are equally anxious, but also uh, laughing at the same um, things that we can't understand. So how's Magda doing? Magda is definitely struggling. I'm a little bit worried for her. Happy that she's taking steps to improve her coach. She'll be okay, I think. I think the general vibe is very positive, supportive. And now doing the PC, I see how all of those people really want to get in and they are really stressed about it and it's it's often such an important element of their life story. Thanks for a lot of annoying questions, Alex. I'm gonna go back to code. just passed my first exam. It's a nice feeling. And then you realize how many other levels are still ahead of you. But I'm so happy to have ticked it off my mental box. It's still, it's such a weird roller coaster of emotions. Right after the exam, everyone is hype. Just the adrenaline is flowing in the room and we don't know what to do with ourselves. I will go bike around for a bit and see you at the weekend. <laughs>